Okay, good afternoon. I am going to try to tackle this closet today because it's time, it's past time. And my room is so cluttered, like I want to do something different with it because it's so cluttered. And I think the main thing is my little mannequin there. I think I want to try to put it behind this coat rack here because there's nothing behind it. It's just dead space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move all of this stuff and then move the mannequin or the, I used to use it to display my clothes for Poshmark, but I haven't used it in a long time. And so I think just to get it out of the way, I want to move it behind here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start moving all of this stuff. And ideally all of this stuff should go in my closet, but You know, I never wore this coat. Hi. <laughs> I never wore this coat yet. So maybe we'll have another cold day where I can wear it. I'm just going to put this stuff here for now. So I can see what's behind here. I think I have to take everything down. What I had behind there is just a bag and some bubble wrap. And I usually try to keep all this stuff because, again, when I ship things that I sell on Poshmark, I like to have I like to have it available. So yeah, I think she'll fit back there. And I decided that I'm going to go ahead and put my. Tory Birch shoes also on Poshmark. I haven't worn them for, I haven't really worn them. And they're a little bit big for me. They said to size up, but I don't know. They just, and they kind of hurt me right here. I don't know if my, if my foot's just too fat or what. Although I wouldn't think I have a fat foot, but um, yeah, I'm just going to put it on Poshmark. These did come. I thought they came with their own dust bag, but maybe not. I have this. I think this is my receipt. I know these things were expensive. I hate to even look to see how much they were, being that I really didn't wear them. Ooh, yeah. With tax, they were $290. And they're the Miller Espadrille. Sandal and they retail for two sixty eight. I don't know how much they retail right now, but I bought these in oh June of twenty eighteen. So in the whole, I've almost had them two years, and I hardly have worn them at all. I mean, that's the bottom. I think I stepped in some uh, tar or something, but that'll easily scrape off, I think. But you can still see the tag there. And so that's an indication that I really didn't wear them that much. So back to what I was doing. Let me go ahead and see if I can grab that and take that coat off of it. I've been working all morning from home and I just kind of needed a little reprieve. I'm still in my office, so I'm trying to take a little break from the computer and sitting down and this also I've not worn and I've had this dress on her forever but I'm going to take it off I hate to put her back there naked but <laughs> I think she'll be okay so now I'm just going to try to put her back here hopefully I can do this without breaking anything stuff didn't fall. Okay. Let me see if I can stand. 
line her up. There we go. So that's a good way to get the most use out of some lost space back there. So now I'm going to put all of this stuff back on this rack. So I know what a lot of people are using this time to get organized and do things that they don't have time for, time for. <laughs> and I guess I could be one of those people, but especially when you commute, you spend a lot of time on the road. And when you take that commute out, you have time to do other stuff. And you know, it's all on the honor system. You have to put in your time. I start early because I wake up early. And you're just going to have to trust that people are working and putting in their hours. So I'm going to go ahead and put this coat here for now until I figure out if I'm going to be able to put this stuff now in that closet. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start, I guess, on this side and see what all I want to keep and what all I don't. Now, this is going to be hard for me. I know I'm probably going to keep everything, just about everything. But I'm going to really try to not keep things that I'm not wearing, like this little thing. I'm not worn this and forever, but I do still like it. This is kind of a similar situation, but it's black. And these are cute to wear over just like a tank top and some jeans, just to give you some coverage. That's why I like these. Okay, so here's a green vest that I haven't worn, and it's an extra small that I think I'm going to be okay with getting rid of. This jacket I can get rid of. I've had it forever. And it's just uh it says love there. It says New York 22 and then it has love. And I can't even remember the last time I wore that. I remember I found this coat at a garage sale. And I just loved it, and I still do. <laughs> I'll be keeping this. I really like it. It's like the quarter sleeve, and it's really cute to wear with a long sleeve turtleneck or something, because it has that round collar. This one, I didn't really wear much. And... I don't know. It's still new, but I think I'm going to hang on to it for just another time. I'm telling you, the struggle's real in trying to get rid of some of this stuff. My coats especially. Put this little denim jacket. I wore this the other day and all of these little things kept flying everywhere. See, it just kind of has like the little flyaways. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. 
I don't like for all of that stuff to be flying everywhere. I have this coat that I've had forever. And I don't think I'm going to wear it again. Had this sweater forever too. I just about wore this every day. The pocket actually tore. This one is kind of itchy. I don't know what is it made out of wool? Yeah, it's 100% wool. No wonder it's so itchy. I do like wearing it if, as long as I have something underneath because I do. My skin does not like wool. I can let go of this little O Navy wand. This one I bought at Sam's. And I do like it, but it's so thin. The sleeves are cute. I'm going to have to think about this one. Because I don't know. I want to keep it. I think I'm going to say bye to this one. And maybe this one. I like to wear these during the summer because I always wear like shorter dresses and this just helps cover. But I don't really like those big slits. So I think if I'm going to do that one, I think I'll keep this one just so I can have something that color. I forgot that I did have this one. I think I might get rid of this one because I have this one and they're kind of like the same. Almost the same shade, and I like this one better. And here's a black one like that. Brown one. And then I've had this one, which it belts. I like the ones that you can belt. Let's see what else I have <laughs> before I decide. I do like this one. This one's a little bit more professional. And I have this green one that ties, that also has a hood. This is my Barefoot Dreams that I really like. Get me warm. I really like this, but it is way too small for me. I really do like it a lot. It has like a little sheen in it. It's really warm today. I don't know why I'm wearing a hoodie. Because <laughs> it is warm today. This jacket I really like from Ross that I haven't worn. I forget during rainy days that I can wear this. And it's a Kenneth Cole. have as many black sweaters as I thought I did. I'm just trying to think like am I gonna wear them and it's hard because during the winter you don't know what you're wearing that you might wear during the summer. I just I just have had this one I don't I'm just trying to think this one you can see right through it. I think I might keep this one. Okay. And then my jackets. I bought this some time ago and I've never worn it. I've had this forever too that I just don't wear. I don't know if I want to keep it another season. Probably not. 
I just don't see jackets like this anymore. You know, it has the sweater type and then the suede. Maybe I'll keep it. I bought this little jacket that I really loved. Of course, I was way thinner then. I don't even know if it'll fit me now. And I have lots of pleather jackets. I like this one for sure. And this one I bought not too long ago. It was only it was very cheap. It's a quarter sleeve. This one I have on my Poshmark now. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. This one I like because it's kind of like a gray metallic. This is a brown bomber jacket. This is another black jacket, but it's more of that silky color. I know I bought something that was some pants, I think, that I can wear with this. I also have this one that has the design going down the sleeve. This one is from Spiegel. This was my very first leather jacket and I think I've just held on to it because it was the first one I could afford and I remember I ordered it off a catalog so I'm definitely keeping this one I think just for sentimental reasons this one I bought from New York and Company, and it's just a straight leather jacket. I won't wear it. I've had this little jacket for a long time that I know I'm not going to wear anymore. So I don't know if I did much damage, but I feel like I did. These are the jackets that I'm getting rid of that I'm going to put on Poshmark. And then this is what I still have left in here, which it seems like it's still a lot. But I really do like all my leather jackets, my business coats, which really I've bought some over there. I could probably get rid of, well... No, I don't have the same colors. And then here's the bottom part. I think I need to get some hangers from Amazon and try to organize this closet a little bit better. The other thing that I really need to go through is my belt and all of this is just, these are just empty boxes of shoes that I've bought and of course my little baskets that I got not too long ago. And then um, I do have my contemporary purses there, I've had that Michael Kors purse there forever. That this little sequence coach purse I just love. I used to like to carry it when I went out. Not much fits in there. Definitely not my phone. And then this one that I've had. And my Dune and Burke. Wow, I haven't bought Dune and Burke in forever. And then of course the only contemporary purses that I've kept are those three. Which is my guest can't remember what that maroon one is. 
think it's a guess as well. And then that uh, tan one, I really love the color of that one. It's really pretty. So, yeah, I will be posting all of this on Poshmart. And I'm glad that I took the time to clean this out. But now it's Poshmart time. So thank you for watching. And I hope you're spending your time productively. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.